And one of the things we like about living in John Day is you get all the seasons. The other thing we like about living in John Day is we can pretty much walk anywhere we want. To, we need to go to. Here's a local park. We've got a swimming pool that's been decommissioned, unfortunately. And then there's the Kam Wa Chong Museum. That was a Chinese herbalist in the 1890s when they had, uh, this was a huge gold mining town. And then further up the block on the left, eventually we're supposed to get the public library supposed to move in there. Here's the Methodist Church, well, United Methodist Church. They do a lot of charity work. They do. They're the ones that have a, a food bank held here on Fridays. And, and our favorite thrift shop. And all the money, all the proceeds go to help people who can't pay their electric bills. Here's the back of the, it's an, of the new health food store. It's an old uh, warehouse. Whoa. Right here at the corner of Main Street and Canyon is the Earthly Home Market. So this is the main highway that goes through John Day. Stephanie's Stephanie. life story yeah. on this no. video. No, no way. <laughs> no. So here is the new owner, Alicia. <laughs> Alicia Jacobs. Are these your children? Yeah, this is my middle child, Colin. Yeah. Hi, Colin. And this is my little girl, Eliana. Yeah. Eliana, what a pretty name. <laughs> and my oldest is hiding somewhere in the back. <laughs> hiding or working? Oh, he's hiding. He's hiding from working. <laughs> OK, well, I love your sign, Eat Organic. The Thank only way you. to eat. Love it too. And the name of your store is? Earthly Home Natural Market. Um, <laughs> it's, it's actually been a name I've had for years and years because oh. this has been a dream that we've had for a long time. And um, I've got my really good friend and I, we have very long conversations and brainstorm about businesses and she has a business as well. And so oh. it's kind of developed and it's been that for years. So I'm glad it finally has a location. <laughs> and what a great location right on the highway. Thank you. Yes, I think so too. So when did this uh, place come available? Um, the location, it's been vacant for a while. Um, and then we joined up with our business partner, Ron. He owns the Norco contract and the Frontier Medical. I came for lettuce, and I see they have the lettuce that is grown at the John Day Greenhouse, and they have their tomatoes. You can see they grow heritage tomatoes, and they're absolutely sweet and perfectly ripe, ripened on the vine. We just really encourage local vendors to yeah. come by and fill out a local application to put your products in our store so oh, we can so help support can them. Sell their products here. Absolutely, I think it'd be great. And um, you know, a lot of those people that can sell at the the Saturday market, the farmers uh -huh. market, we would love to have them in here. They could have a venue year round. I know um, jewelry. A lot more <laughs> a lot more exposure. So you know that kind of stuff. If it's you know. Um, Anything that we can do to help out the local community is what, what we would like to do. I just noticed these cute little things here. And I'm told that they are shopping bags. Here's our local newspaper man <laughs> doing a story. getting uh, some laundry soap where people don't have to use those big plastic containers yeah, that true. fill up the landfill. Yeah, they... <laughs> Just heard you're making cards to sell? Oh, let's see. Oh my gosh. So Vanessa and I just spent about the last, what, hour? Hanging out at the, uh, what was the name of the market? Q 
you can follow us on Facebook at Earthly Home Natural Market. Anyway, so um, yeah, it was great. There was a lot of people turned up. There was a lot of traffic. Got to meet a lot of friends that we know here from <laughs> yeah. the neighborhood. Boy, there's the nothing town. more satisfying than seeing a full house on an open day of a business. Yeah, it's very promising for them. Very promising. Yeah, and, and we'll of course now be able to do a lot more of our food ordering through them rather than having to uh, like get things shipped to us in boxes. Here are the hours, Monday through Friday, 9 to 6, Saturday, 10 to 4, and closed on Sunday. And most of John Day is closed on Sunday.